A co-main event, a welterweight bout. Kevin Holland coming in at plus 120 against Jack Della Maddalena sitting at minus 150. It's going to be a great fight. Over under two and a half rounds, plus 115 for the over, minus 145 for the under. And we're getting, uh, this is a banger. I mean, Kevin Holland fought like a, le- or a little over a month ago. So, I mean, he's jumping right back in there. Jack Della just fought fairly recently as well. Uh, Holland, 30 years of age. You see the frame there, six foot three for Holland. 81 inch reach. Jack Della, 5'11, 73 inch reach for him. I mean, big difference there. Um, both guys great on the feet. Kevin Holland got great stand or great stand up and a great submission game. He's been working a lot on the wrestling. Don't think he's probably going to have to, you know, use the defensive wrestling here against Jack Della. But Jack Della's hands, that boxing, everyone knows it's, it's really slick. He showed uh, ability to battle back after losing that first round against Basil Hafez in, uh, the fight at the apex last time out that was july 15th so it's been about two months it's gonna be a great fight and this is probably gonna be the question of the week are you on jack Della or you're on kevin holland what are you taking yeah man okay so first i want to stop start off by saying kevin holland is the real bmf of the ufc i don't care what anybody says i don't care about the losses nothing this dude's fought 20 times if you include the contender series fight since 2018 like that's five years and 20 fights nobody else is doing that he's taken on dudes like Hamzat Chemaev. um you know he's taken all these fights and some of them they're not really the best style uh stylistically they're not the best for him so I, I plot him on that he'll fight anybody he's confident he's not gonna fear Jack Della like a lot of people might going in there fearing that striking you know that jab's hard to deal with and then for Jack Della I mean the last fight that he won against Hafez kind of brought him down to earth a little bit. Like he showed that he's human. He can get taken down. He can, you know, he's defensively, he can get hit a little bit. And, uh, you know, he did show a lot of heart though. Ended up pulling out the win, but I just think against a guy like Holland, who's six foot three compared to Jack's five eleven, like the jab, like your best weapon on the feet is going to be a little harder to land than it normally is. And for Holland, he's a good counter striker. He hits hard. He fights long, too. And, you know, as he showed in his last fight, if he gets a hold of the neck, he's super crafty with his chokes, Dar's chokes, guillotines, um, all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, as far as who I'm going to pick for the fight, I'm going to go with Kevin Holland. I I think that he's game enough to go in there and just kind of not respect Jack's power. And I think it could frustrate Jack that he's not able to hurt Holland or, uh, you know, land that jab as often as he wants to set up his other shots. And I think he'll be on the receiving end of some of those big right hands from Holland, too. Because if you look at Holland's last loss against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, yeah, he broke his hand. The fight gets stopped in the fourth round, but he was doing some work early to Stephen Thompson. Like he, he fought really well. And, and Wonderboy is one of the best strikers you know we've seen in the UFC in a long, long time. So Kevin Holland can strike with the best of them. He's going to be in there. I mean, it's going to be a tough fight for him, but I just think all things considered, he, he might be the side here, especially... What are the odds right now? What did our, our page say? Plus is he still? For, uh, yeah, he's still a slight dog. I mean, I could see money coming in on him as the week goes on too, but I'm going to pick Holland here for my pick. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. I can't wait to watch this one. Um, but I'm, I think you got to go dog, dog or pack yeah. in this one, which is like, it's just kind of like a prove it moment for uh, Jack Della Maddalena. Like, he's looked so good. He had a, a, a battle of a fight against Basil Hafez, which all things considered, I mean, he had two weight cuts. It was like his third fight that he had to, to pick up. It's just like he's in the States. He wants to fight. Here's a guy in Basil Hafez who's durable, has great uh, takedowns and grappling, and was able to go in there and just be a dog and and lose a split decision to a tough guy against Jack Della Maddalena. So, I mean, you can't really blame him too much for that. But, I mean, the level of competition before that, like Randy Brown is a solid opponent, but he's, like, he's not top 15, yeah. like, level. Uh, but then Danny Roberts, Ramazan, and me, Pete Rodriguez, like, those aren't, aren't very great guys. Angelosa, well, he went to decision with Angelosa on the Contender Series. Angelosa's durable. Kevin Holland's durable. He's only been technically knocked out once, and that was just with the uh, – the hand injury, he's technically never been knocked out, but he had to pull out of that fight because of the hand injury against Steven Thompson. So I honestly kind of think this could be like a three round war type fight because both guys are pretty durable. Both guys like to throw. And I would expect both guys are going to be ready to get hit. A lot of times when you get a knockout, 
it's like you're not ready for it. And I would expect both guys are knowing what they're getting into going into this one. So I think it probably goes to a decision, which is uh, it's going to be a sweat if you're watching it because they're going to throw hands. But I think it probably goes to a decision. I think Holland could could snatch it. He's going to have the reach advantage, which is going to be a lot to overcome for Jack Della. He's got to get on the inside. I think Holland's just had that a little bit more experience as the dog. It's probably the side that I got to go in this one. So I'll take Holland for the pick. I also think too, this like could be the, that wiry style of Kevin Holland, who's, you know, six, three long and just, you know, fights just chaotic at times. I think that could be part of Jack Della Maddalena's downfall too, or an opponent that he struggles with. Because if you look at Jack's opponents where he has a lot of success, Pete Rodriguez, Danny Roberts, Ramazan, I mean, these guys aren't really known for their movement and good head movement and, and just chaotic style. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be super interesting. The question is, does Holland like shoot a takedown? Like, I don't expect him to, but what are the chances? Like maybe he, he's definitely got the better BJJ. Yeah. And, but I just don't really, I wouldn't count on him to like use it unless he's in some type of scramble. So could be on that submission kick after the, after the Chiesa snatched right, when right. he snatched that neck. I mean, I would love to see it, but I don't really have a lot of confidence that he goes out there and does that, but he's, yeah. he's a dick for me.